What's up, everybody? This is Gil. Recently, uh, Andrew Tate uh, did an interview with Tucker Carlson. It's getting a lot of play. Um, I picked a few things that I wanted to uh, address and look at and listen to. Uh, the first thing is that he's going to, Andrew Tate is going to talk about his prison time and how long he spent there and the uncertainty of how long he was going to be there. It's a very uncertain situation to be picked up on just before New Year's Eve and thrown in a cell without charge. And I'm asking different prison guards and different prisoners, how long am I going to be here? One person was like, I've been here two years. I was like, have you been charged? He goes, yeah, but I haven't gone to court yet. Like everyone's been there for years. I thought I was going to be there for years. And it certainly takes a mental toll on you. And, and I think jail is a different experience when you know you're innocent. When I, there was a guy in there for murder. He's like, yeah, I murdered someone. I'm in jail. You can kind of, your soul and your mind yes. can accept the punishment for a crime. But when you've actually done nothing wrong, I think jail is a lot harder. And with that point, Andrew Tate is not wrong. It is one thing to know that you committed a crime and you're sentenced and you're in jail. There's a peace behind it. You know that you did it and you can make the adjustment to jail time, to the life of a of a convict. But when you're innocent and you know you're innocent, there is absolutely no way to to reconcile that there is no way to get around that so he got arrested for they're saying trafficking but they've uh they've they've taken the charges and they're now saying that he was um coercing girls into making you tiktok videos and taking the money from them which is such bogus i mean for the few pennies that you're going to get on tiktok uh from a new girl now, I'm not saying like you, they're not making money on these long on these uh, videos or these uh, accounts that have been there for a while. But the new ones, I mean, how do you do that? That's a, it's, that's a virtual impossibility. It's kind of stupid to think that he would do that. But uh, we'll listen to more of it. So in the next clip, he tries to explain what the Matrix is. Now, I believe that the Matrix exists now. Are we these individuals in pods that the are feeding this ultimate uh, uh, robotic? No, we're not doing that. But the matrix is this woke culture to me. The matrix is the government, the media, Hollywood, all of them in that trance like state of acceptance. That is the matrix. That's what we need to escape. So taking the red pill is escaping. So I like to say I'm awake, not woke. I'm awake, not woke. So let's hear what he has to say about the matrix. I guess some Americans call it the deep state, but I like to look at it in a more global way. When I say the matrix, I think there are certain agendas which are being pushed. I think the media machine and the judicial systems of the world work together hand in hand. I think the goal is to control people's minds to a point where they don't discuss anything that's important. And he's not wrong. He's 100 percent right. And I don't get why people hate people who only have the honest opinion and they want to put it out there. That's what he has. It's his own honest opinion. What he says may or may not be true, but that is the beauty of the freedom of speech. But anyway, who am I? I'm a nobody. I'm just getting my podcast started again. My name is Gil. Thanks for listening. This is one on one with Gil Guillory. Please like, subscribe and share. Please do whatever you can to help me. Please listen. Please be aware. Please be awake, not woke. This is Gil. Later.